Are you happy? Are you right now, as I'm preaching, as you're listening, are you happy? Were you happy yesterday? Will you be happy tomorrow? Were you happy three weeks ago? Will you be happy in two months? Are you happy? When I say happy, I don't mean like in a seasonal sense, like, well, yeah, I'm pretty happy today. You know, Josh telling a few jokes, barbecue today. Woo, I'm good. He's wearing shorts. That's cool. I'm happy. I'm happy. Not that kind of happy. I mean, are you deeply, fundamentally, consistently a happy person? I ask that question because it's, it's, it's not trivial or secondary or peripheral to the human existence. In fact, if you read any sort of any philosophers of the age or theologians, you'll, you'll find that the pursuit of happiness is fundamental to what it means to be human. In fact, as I was noting with a friend a few days ago and talking about with Adam last night, it's in our founding documents as a country, is it not? Life, liberty, and what? The pursuit of happiness. So this isn't something new. It's not something that like, oh, the, 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 the latest, greatest, you know, shallow generation has come up with. This is something that mankind has wrestled with and pursued for millennia. So your happiness is not secondary to your existence because I would argue that you will inevitably be pursuing your happiness every day, all the time. It's the overarching principle that drives everyone. So people have principles like honesty. I think honesty is a good principle. Unless honesty will begin to make me uncomfortable or becomes inconvenient or might cost me my job, then I have a, a secondary or, or, or I should say maybe a primary principle I default to, and that is my happiness and so I fudge so that it's not to threaten my happiness. Or I value, and you just go on and see how the examples work. Blythe Pascal said, happiness is driving the man who climbs the ladder of a success on Wall Street or hangs himself in his bedroom in despair. Happiness, or at least the pursuit of, is driving everyone. 